We have been searching for a snowcat to call our own for years, and this week we finally found one. An incredibly rare machine, four tracks, it doesn't run, but we'll fix that and see what it can do in deep snow, all in this episode. Where are we heading? We're on another adventure to pick up a swindly project. I've been eyeing it on Marketplace for a while. It's only about a five hour drive to get there, but then we gotta load up the thing and come back. Oh, I'm pretty head. stoked. I've only seen one little picture of it, ah. and I'm stoked. Yes. Uh, I mean, everything we buy or build is like is pretty unique, but this one, it's, it's very, very unusual. It is a very special craft. Exactly. That's a nice view. Wow, we picked a scenic day for this. Yeah. I've got to love driving through Lewiston. It smells like moldy cabbage because of that paper mill. It does smell like moldy cabbage. <laughs> it's the nastiest smell. You can smell it like 20 miles outside of town. Well, not 20, but before you even get anywhere near town, you're like, where's the cabbage at? <laughs> There's a lot more snow here than at home. One can see why someone who lives out here might need the type of machine that we're going to buy. How else would you drive through this except with a bizarre machine? We like bizarre machines. So, here we are in the middle of nowhere, Idaho. The guy just texted me before we left service and said, because there is no service, he said, I'll meet you at the general store and I'll be driving a white Polaris Ranger crew cab. He had to specify because we passed like three Polaris Rangers parked in town here, as you would expect. But I think that's our guy. So he's gonna lead us out there because apparently the road to his house isn't marked. That's the kind of place we're in. And he's stopped in the middle of the road to talk to the UPS driver slash neighbor, I assume. So now we're following the Polaris Ranger farther into nowhere. Uh, but this guy knows who we are already. And his Polaris Ranger is sweet. It's not just like totally stock. He's got like long travel, high clearance A-arms and sweet wheels. It's a nice Ranger. And a snow plow. Look at that thing. Oh, I see it. All you can see is a little orange thing with one headlight, but it's very cool. I've been eyeing this thing on Marketplace for months. But now that we actually have snow, we've got a good reason to get it. Oh. This thing's awesome. I've never seen one. I had you, that's anywhere. why I bought it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> same. I mean, that's this awesome. thing was meant to plow and pull a groomer behind it. Right. And it was all hydraulic. There's a that's hydraulic pump cool. in it, so it's got front and rear hydraulic outputs. It articulates in the middle. That's awesome. It's all wheel drive. I mean, the thing is just, yeah. it's basically a big snow cat just scaled down. Scaled yeah. down. Yeah, it looks yeah. like one of those Tucker ones that's got the four yeah. tracks, just a miniature yeah. one with only the cab on the front. So. A Hibusa oh, wow, motor that's... would be really nice yeah. in this thing. <laughs> that is a good yeah. idea. Yeah. 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 Or, or, or a man. big two-stroke snowmobile motor or something. Uh, or a dirt bike, anything. Yeah. Well, like Wisconsin, Minnesota, they love these things because they're all into that vintage. Mm -hmm. And I've had a lot of those yeah. guys contact me asking about, you know, yeah. and then they look, they're like, where are you at? And they look at the map and they're like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a trip for that one. Yep. Edwin and Will are gonna love this. Oh, they're gonna lose their minds, yeah. I mean, so is everybody else who sees it. It's just, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It is, yeah. yeah. Between the last time we used this trailer and now, we lost a ramp. Hopefully we didn't lose it on the highway and damage someone. That machine. 
machine looks good back there. It really does. I'm gonna enjoy watching it in the rear view mirror on the way home. Until it gets dark anyway. This is how you know we're in the backwoods of Idaho. There's a deer hung up there on the side of the highway. Somebody just was deer hunting and they're just, you know, camped out there. I don't know if you caught it in time with the, with the camera, but there's also just a giant wall tent set up in like the pullout on the side of the highway. These people are just camped out. Yeah, they're getting busy. Hunting deer, just on the side of the road. That's Idaho for you. Well, here we are, pretty much precisely 12 hours later, crossing back across the Long Bridge. And tomorrow, we get to get this thing running, hopefully, and drive it around the yard. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Edwin and Will are excited, too. Oh, yeah, they definitely are. It's... So much smaller than I thought. It's smaller than the K truck. It's a miniature <laughs> snowcat. Perfect for. <laughs> it is so small. Wait till you get in it. Oh my lordy! It's almost as difficult to get into this as it is like the Barbie camper. A Hayabusa in this thing would be next level. Yeah, the man we bought it from suggested that we put a Hayabusa How in it. How much horsepower you reckon it had stock? But it's a twin cylinder two stroke with a really non-existent expansion chamber. So I'd guess like 35 to 40 horsepower. This is the coolest thing I ever have it's seen. It's very Isn't it? cute. I, oh, it's, are these the hydraulic line hookups? It's like yeah. a Whoville car. Yeah, dude, it has- It a, is a Whoville <laughs> car. It has auxiliary hydraulics front and rear for like grooming machines. It's just so tiny and well built. I thought it's, it was gonna dude, be way Dude, look inside today. here, look at the differential. This it's thing the will... size of like a small truck differential. What the heck? It will go places you can't, you can't even, even walk. No, for no, no, sure. Evan. It'll go places you can't even snowshoe, man. <laughs> yeah. Hundred mile challenge. This thing is sick. We should do a thousand mile challenge. Thousand mile challenge. With this thing. Ethan and I were speculating on the way home yesterday. Yep. That you guys are gonna be stoked on this. <laughs> this has to be mega rare, right? Yeah. He said there was a bunch of people from the Midwest who are into like restoring stuff that were contacting him about it, but like they're from the Midwest. Yeah. So they're gonna be very upset when we chop out the engine and put it something bigger in there. Oh. Are uh, snowcat restorer people purists? Dude, everything restorer people are purists. Oh. What is this? Sorry, purists. This is gonna go a lot faster than it ever could have before. Can we have three or four, please? So we. Can I don't think so, actually. <laughs> I've never seen it. I've been browsing Marketplace for snowcats for years. Could you imagine if we all had one and we were rummaging up to the top of a mountain? Well. Oh. Manual window wipers. That's what I like to see. I was thinking about installing this. If it's really raining, super... you just gotta go. Ah! <laughs> this is very cool machine. I like this a lot. Somehow it looks even smaller when it came off the trailer. This is the actual definition of the word premium. We could build a little tow truck crane for the back. It's like for right when you get your snowmobile stuck, this could go out there, you just beep, 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 and then just like winch a snowmobile up a hill. When you get in, in the, the shop, shop, it's even smaller, yeah. yeah. Like look at how small it is compared to the smallest bus. <laughs> What a machine! I'm just gonna yoink on this rope a few times and see if it fires up. That's why it's got electric start. I figured I'd go ahead and do things right and just pull the carburetor off, make sure it's all clean, and clean the spark plugs, you know. Give it a good chance at actually running right. Honestly, this carburetor looks fairly clean. But have you ever seen a weirder float? What the heck are those? 
What the heck? I've never seen that before. I'm wondering if maybe it has something to do with making it so that it works better on an incline. Like, so that one side of the float can come up more than yeah. the other. I've taken aboard a lot of carburetors, I've never seen that. Throw a battery in it and see if it wants to fire up. It is gonna be an exciting moment. I think I'm gonna have to put some new terminals on these. One, these are standard car battery terminals. And this isn't the battery I'm permanently gonna use, but I'll probably use a battery like it. And two, these terminals are kind of screwy. Um, go turn the key for me for a second. Here, one second, I gotta reach in there. Wanna keep doing that? No. Interesting. More testing is required. Yeah, just tell me when. Yeah, go ahead. Let me know when you want me to turn it. Oh, hang on just a second. Um, you want me to keep it there? All right. Here, here. Okay, so the starter solenoid's just bad. That's easy to solve. Well, starter works. Feeling we don't have spark. Let us find out. We have spark. It doesn't look like the strongest spark ever. Fuel. Getting lots of fuel? Yeah, so that kind of implies that our spark is not strong. The BR9ES? Yeah, pretty much every snowmobile I've ever seen takes the same spark plugs. Gas out of there, let's see what happens. That was a fire. You can see it's just flooding itself out. So either the spark is too weak or the uh, there's too much fuel. It just floods right away. We're off to the uh, park. Zone. We borrow a coil. See if that's the issue. Oh, for crying out loud! It's Phillips. Of course, it's Phillips. Annoying. If all else fails, just grab this whole engine and slap it in there. I'd be willing to bet that a 90s phaser engine is better than a 78 Arctic Cat, whatever the heck that is. This coil is a little bit different, so I don't know for sure if it's gonna work. We're getting closer. to a different flavor of spark plug and it seemed to like those better. Like it just needed a little bit of strawberry flavor in its life or something, you know? Yeah, it wasn't about that cherry. Yeah, I mean, no one should be about that cherry. I hate cherry flavored things. Nice. Now, Let's uh, do 
little testing and see if we can get this uh, starter solenoid to work. Now we have the engine running. Um, first off, just go crank it over and see what happens. Yeah, I know, so that's a hill. We'll go try to find a different starter solenoid or something because that one's clearly not working. right there, even a snowmobile one, on ye old murder scheme. Probably would have been faster to go back and get the right tools, but you know, sometimes you just gotta struggle through it. This solenoid is made for a two wire trigger. Um, the other one was a one wire, but this one just needs to go to ground. So. Man, I see this pile of oil on the floor and I know something went down while we were podcasting. It, it doesn't look encouraging, does it? Uh, it looks a little sad, boy. <laughs> yeah, that was, that looks like my Subarus. <laughs> now we get to find out if my new starter solenoid transplanted from the murder scooter work. I told you it'd be roaming. That was from the murder scooter? Yep. Nice. nice. So the solenoid works. Time to see if it moves. It runs, but does it drive? This is going to be a fun test drive. Yeah, I'm super stoked. I don't even know what to expect with this thing. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> thing you can imagine. <laughs> Not the engine, just everything rattling. Really? Well, because there's no suspension. Where if, we were, if you were in like a foot of snow, it'd yeah, be fine. It looked pretty bouncy. But it's just hitting every little rock and bump. I have a feeling this thing's gonna really shine uh, in deep snow. Uh, that is what it's made for. Well, yeah. When is it gonna snow? Like, why do we not have snow? What is this? I don't know. It's like the worst kind of winter. It's cold as heck, but there's like not enough snow to have fun in. This is in very nice condition. <laughs> I was trying not to get my hopes up and tell myself that for sure I'll be driving this thing today. I gotta see it today and I gotta drive it today. That is not common for a grind hard machine. This is in very nice condition. <laughs> Say that again when you come back. It's like experiencing an earthquake all the time. <laughs> it's a it good is a thing. This like that. seat has suspension. It is like nothing like in here is moving, but you can just hear 
everything underneath you going until we have a lot more snow high gear is yeah. really not yeah. fun i did slip going up the hill after i filmed it you can't there. you walk can't there. even walk hey, up that just hill clarify something about words here slipping doesn't mean you can't walk. Well, like he did traction. walk up the hill. But if the Chang Li didn't Places, slip. <laughs> the Chang Li <laughs> will never make it up that hill in his stock uh, form. It'll make it up once Will's uh, done with the current mods, but like <laughs> it would never have made it even halfway up that hill. And Steven uh, did walk up it. But he, he barely slipped. Made it. It's the equivalent of tire spin going up a hill, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sounds like you discovered something. Yeah, well, I went around and tightened all the chain case chains, and I figured I'd add some fluid to them because, you know, can't hurt to have a little more oil in there, and that, that one had no oil in it. It's a good thing we didn't put miles on it. Yep. some snow so it's time to see what it can do in actual snow instead of just like a skimming of ice i have some ideas as to why it pops out of gear and i'm going to test one of those ideas right now so we'll test that theory do you know the grinch whoville song there like a lot of yeah, songs there's a there. lot of songs the little song. miss who one the main oh one. yeah i knew let's hear it i don't know how to sing it but i know the one you're referring to why? Cindy Lou Who. Yeah, Cindy, yeah, Lou, Cindy Who. Lou Who. Is this not the car her dad has in the Whoville? It is. Christmas, Christmas, Bahu, Dahu. <laughs> what? That, is, that, that not... is not the song I was <laughs> thinking of. What? Are you? You're just singing nonsense. <laughs> That's what the song is. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know, so. man. Well, my second suspicion appears to be true. And that's that right there is where the detent is, but actually in gear is like a little bit past that. So that means I need to make a new plate. She's gonna say Bahu Dahu, I guarantee. Okay. Here she goes. How many push-ups are you doing and then she doesn't say Bahu Dahu? And really? then you do 100 if she does say Bahu Dahu? Yeah. Okay. No! Oh! <laughs> no! 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 One hundred push-ups. Let's go. Oh, which of us do you think has to do a hundred push-ups now? <laughs> which of you two? Yeah. Oh, did you guys take bets? Yeah, yeah. On if the song says Bahu Dahu or not. Well, I mean, obviously you're gonna bet that it does, so uh -huh. you obviously won. Which yeah. means that Will obviously has to do push-ups. That's yeah. not ob that, the that's the most obvious starts, thing in the world. The song starts and it's just like, Bahu Dahu Christmas. I didn't expect <laughs> that. Neither did I. You can see here I got the, one of those balls out of that and I had to drill this out a little bit for it to fit, but that just goes right in there.
It looks like it's a lot faster. I almost hit a tree so I couldn't see anything. Oh yeah, he's sending. Oh no! Luckily I had the wherewithal to turn the key off before I ran into the fire truck. But not much before. <laughs> that thing's fun in high gear, in this much snow. We need more snow though, it's still a little bit bouncy underneath, you know? I'll let somebody else take a, take a rip ski. Well, Will and I had so much in the hunt fun and the 100 mile challenge. We realized we really like co-piloting with each other. So we're gonna see if we can both fit in this little tiny snowcat. It's gonna be it's, crowded. It's a single seater by the truest definition. Yeah. You think I should go in first or you? Uh, I'll go in. Okay. It's gonna be hilarious. How about Man, they really have to clown car everything, don't they? I guess so. <laughs> please, please don't kill it. Okay. We like it too. Yeah, I know. Just, you know, there's two of you in there. Lots of things could go wrong. Yeah. This is stunning. This is so fun. This is stunning. All right. Places you can't even walk. walk, man. Places you cannot even walk. I can barely walk out there. I can barely sit in here. <laughs> I think you're pushing my knee into the steering wheel so I can't steer very well. <laughs> This way, and then they went a loop and went back up that way. I'm basically running a rally lap trying to catch up to them just to get a dang phone clip. So far, I haven't gotten anything usable because every time I think they're going one way, they go entirely the other way. Looks like they're ready. You're thinking full throttle, right? Yeah, full. Give it the beads, man, because if we don't make it up the hill, it can be shame. And then remember to break in the top so we don't get the limo. Yeah. That's full speed. That's not very oh, fast. Man, not fast enough. Oh. How do I get out if your foot is on the brake? Ah. I thought we had it at the beginning, Ben. Yeah, and then oh. I kind of knew we didn't have it when we passed the tree. <laughs> yeah, when we started really slowing down, we were like, oh. We were like, Sounds pretty empty. Oh, I think I see some. <laughs> yeah, there's some. And if it didn't run out when you were on the hill, it's probably not out right now. Wow! Right? Oh. <laughs> places you can't even walk, Will. I literally can't. We walk did go walk. places we couldn't yeah. even walk. Places you can't walk. Baby. I'm doing fine. Yeah, Ethan's doing just fine. We both hate it, though. I think ever since we picked up that little red car, that is the only thing I've heard you guys talk about. <laughs> we used to talk about video games and now the only thing that occupies my mind is the chang link yeah just we have unfinished business with the 100 mile challenge i know what it tastes like it's you've bad. put starter fluid in your mouth pretty much i mean i've had it touch my lips once or twice I could see you trying to start an engine. Shh. Put your finger on the filters. 
Is that what you did? <laughs> Why don't you want to tell this story? No. If you ever don't want to tell them when the camera's on, that means it's really bad. No, I just have gotten that in my mouth a little bit, a couple times. I've, but I've tasted like every fluid that goes in a vehicle. You have to taste it to know what really is going on. It's a refined taste, Edwin. You ever just take your finger and dip your finger in your car's oil and take a little... No. Why not? You'll know so much. I never did that. It's the like, gold miners in Alaska that find mammoth meat. There's these stories yeah. of them like putting it on the Barbie and eating a little mammoth. Hey. You wouldn't try it? No. You so would. You lick brake clean for fun. <laughs> yeah, that's sterile. <laughs> And mammoth you don't meat. know where that mammoth came from? Well, yeah, it came from Alaska. Yeah. And it's in ice, it's sterile. Yeah, that's true. Scrounged up a smidge of gas. What are you leaning on doing to it in the future? You know, I'm really not sure. I think we need to get it like running a little more reliably as is and just take it out in the mountains and see what it can do because like we need to know what we can upgrade, you know? Yeah. Like obviously the engine could be better, uh -huh. but a lot yeah. more power it wouldn't really be usable. Like, I mean, you could, it could use a little more power, but like a turbo two stroke in there wouldn't do any good. I like the way a reliable four-stroke engine sounds. Yeah. All right, we'll just we'll just have to we'll have to take it out and you know tune it up a little bit, take it out and and see what it can do in its current form, and then and then yeah. you know just see what comes up on the marketplace. We really bought this to be a reliable way to get things out of the mountains. Like if we're out with the Hayabusa and it breaks, then we can use this to like tow it out of there and yep. like carry our film gear and stuff. In the early 90s, Polaris was using uh, engines built by Fuji Heavy Industries, which is Subaru. Oh. And those, those are pretty reliable. I mean, they're still two stroke, but they'd probably be more reliable than this carbureted, yeah. you know, crust edition. We all know Subarus but... are reliable. <laughs> I think the end of the day, it just depends on what we find. All right. There's a lot of good options. We'll just, you know, keep our eyes open for a cheap nice. snowmobile. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to try Dahu. She's not saying Bahu Dahu. There's not a Bahu no, in there. It, it comes later. No, it's, uh -oh. it's Papa Ethan. <laughs> no, it's, she's saying hey, no, forest. Not Doris. Welcome. Isn't that not welcome? There's an S at the end. I'm not sure what she's actually saying. So now you have to do push-ups because there is... You're right. She says something that sounds very close to that, but there's definitely an S at the end of whatever uh, sound. Oh. It's not Bahu.